as you read 24, 25, they, they have to be restored and rebuilt. Now remember they in captivity. So we have to see who and it has to be declared or given a decree. Now we got to understand who gave this decree and when was it given? Now, remember that Daniel noted his 70 years supposed to be released. So when from the time he was captured, his release time should be in 536. And in 536, Cyrus did give a decree. But the decree that he gave was for them to go back and build the temple. But remember, it's a two-part problem. Not only do they got to rebuild the temple and the city, they have to then self-govern themselves. Now, when they go back and, and rebuild the temple, then 16 years later, they get, get, a, get another kick in the butt because the, the next uh, uh, one comes... Uh, tells them, listen, you was given a decree to go and build a temple. Why are y'all not doing this? Get up off your butts and go do it. Still, this is not the decree. This is not <laughs> what they're looking for. But in later on, in I believe it's five in in five 44, no, at 5, uh, 60, 54, or 64, one of those, uh, a decree was given again by Xerxes. And you can find this decree in uh, Ezra chapter 7. You can find this decree. And this decree was given out and told them that they should go back rebuild the temple even gave them to the right to execution gave them to the right to self-govern themselves and everything so this is the decree and later on another decree was given unto the prophet nehemiah to go back and continue to build but this was the same this just giving him the same decree that was already given by exercise so this is the decree that gave them this twofold process and this is the decree that's spoken of in verses 24 25 and 26 this is the decree. Now, remember, you have to realize that when they split this up, that there was a, a, a situation that was going on, that there were some things going on that they had to overcome. So once you did that, then you continue to move forward in the land. You continue to do what you're supposed to do. You continue to walk forward in the land. And then with that, you could hear and see what the people was doing. So as we continue on, now if you add those two up, if, if, if you take away those, those things and, and, and add up the time to seven weeks, to seven years, which is 400, I mean, which is uh, 49, and then the 62 weeks times seven, which, which is uh, 14, uh, something. Y'all add that up for me. Uh, Y'all got it. And, and 
and you add the 49 and the 400, I think 34 years or something together, it comes out to be 483 years. Now I know somebody done done the math and they said, no, it don't preacher. It come out to 484. Listen, you got to subtract one year because there is no zero year. There is no zero year. So when you have to subtract that, it brings you back to 483 years. 483 years. Now, if you would take the time to take 483 years forward from the time that the decree was given, it would bring you up to the year 27 AD. 27 AD. Now, this is a, a powerful revelation that you all have to hold on to. Because now it's up to 27 AD, and we're gonna talk about this this time here, and we're gonna get this in order to do what we need to do. So now, remember, don't forget to take away that one, and and knows that there's no year zero. There's only one year between 1 BC and 1 AD. So you have to subtract that one year. So, so you really have 483 years because there's no zero year. Now, what was going to happen at the end of the 69 weeks? The Messiah, the Prince, was going to come. Now, what do the word Messiah mean? anointed one after 59 weeks the anointed one will come now the word messiah in hebrew is the same word as christ in greek look at john chapter 1 verse 41 go to john 1 41 it says there he first findeth his own brother Simon and said unto him, We have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted the Christ. That's where we get the word Christian from. It wasn't it's a christening, it's just the anointing. That's all with oil. That's all the christening in. Christening comes from Christ. It's really Christ. Now, in other words, 483 years then when the decree was given until the anointed one will come the question is who was anointed and how was he anointed let's look at several avenues right here Luke chapter 3 verses 1 2 now this way is get powerful and amazing stay with me now speaking about event meaning at the baptism of Christ and notice all of the chronological details here. Now in the 15th year, Pontius Pilate being governor of Judah, and Herod being Tetra. Now, just look, of the region of Tachonizer and Isenius, the Tekarant of Abilene, Annas and Chaos being the high priest, that, that there's a lot of references there. You see that, right? The word of God came unto John, the son of Zacharias, in the wilderness. Now, now this was taking place in the 15th year of Tiberius Caesar. We know that, that Tiberius began to rule in 12 AD. That's a historical fact. In 12 AD. So, if you take the 12 and add 15 years to, to year 27, you see that, right? You understand? And now you got the 27 AD as the date for the anointing of the Messiah. Now the question is, when was Jesus anointed? Let's check out several passages. 
Look at Luke chapter 4, 16 and 17. This is immediately after the baptism of Christ. Notice what Jesus said, that the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. When was he anointed now? What came upon Jesus when he was baptized? The Holy Spirit. Because he anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken heart, to preach deliverance to the Catholics, and recover sight to the mind, to set up liberty, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Now notice Mark chapter 1, verses 9 through 11. Same idea. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized with John and Jordan and straightway coming up out of the water and the spirit of, like a dove descending upon him and there came a voice from heaven that said thou art my son for who I am well pleased now immediately after his baptism he make a very interesting just look at uh, the 13, 14, 15. The Holy Spirit fell upon Jesus. Now, after this, John was put in place. Jesus came in the gallery preaching the gospel of Jesus and, count, and preaching, saying that the time has been fulfilled. Now, what time? This is the only time uh, that, that this prophecy was fulfilled in Daniel chapter 9. That the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. So listen, after his baptism, the time fulfilled, that the 70 weeks has been fulfilled. Notice John after chapter 1, verse 32. John chapter 1, verse 32. And John bare record saying, I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove and abode upon him. They're talking about his baptism now. Look at verse 41. Immediately at the baptism of Jesus, notice what Simon brother has to say. He first findeth his own brother Simon and said unto him, we have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted the Christ. So immediately after his baptism, he was introduced to Simon as the, the Messiah because he has been anointed. Notice also Acts chapter 10, verse 38. The Bible's very clear on this point. Look at verse 38. How God anointed that's the word Messiah, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. That's happened after his baptism. He went about doing good and healing all that was oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Now we have an abundance of avenues to pursue to when Jesus was anointed. He, he was anointed at the moment of his baptism. Baptism is anointing. The question is, what season of the year was Jesus baptized? If we say, well, how can we know that? It's very simple. What season of the year was Jesus crucified? He was crucified at Passover, right? This prophecy says that he was cut off in the middle of the last week. If he was in the middle of the last seven years, that's three and a half years. If he dies in the middle of the week, which is Passover, you would have to go back three and a half years and you would know when he was baptized. If you go from the spring backwards, the year 27 to the year 31, to, to the spring of the year 30, to the spring of the year 29, to the spring of the year 28, to the fall of the year 27. Now you got it. 
Jesus was baptized in the fall. So far, so good. Now, y'all stay with me. Now, now, don't, don't, don't get confused. I'm, you can get this anytime. So, 